that before we get into that section. Cool? Cool. All right, let's get it started. So I'm just going to demo the hip circles in case you are uh, not sure what that is. So for the hip circles, you're going to be off on all fours like the cat and cow. You're going to keep this 90 degrees in the leg the whole time. So what you're going to do is you're going to kick your foot to the sky. Then you're going to do a big circle out and then back in. That's one rep. So kick to the sky, out, and then in. So to go 10 right and then 10 left. For the bootstrap squat, you're going to be in squat stance. You're going to hinge your hips back, grab your toes, pull your hips down below your knees into your squat, and then hips back to the sky. So down and then up. So 10 of those. Okay, just working through some of that mobility, getting the hips open, warmed up, ready to go. Okay, but we are going to start with a minute. Jumping jacks, again, can be skipping, can be mountain climbers. Whatever you feel like you want to do here, I'm okay with. Here we go. Three, two, one, go for it. Okay, let's see if I can figure this out. Ah, that seems easy enough. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Come on down, all fours. Into your hip circles. So legs gonna kick out and then big circle around. Try to really feel that squeeze of the side of the glute, that glute mead. 10 right, 10 left. Hey, Chris. Hi, uh, sorry I'm late. Oh, it's all good. Happy to have you here. Okay. When you're done, back to your feet. We'll go through 10 of our bootstrap squats, Russian squats, whatever. So you can bend your knees as much as you need to, to be able to bring your hands down to your feet, depending on how tight your hamstrings are, that mobility might be different for all of us. It will be different for all of us. And then once you're done your 10 squats, you're gonna go into your walkout with a push up. And then walk yourself back up. Five of those walkouts with the push up. When you're done your walkouts, just uh, stand where you are. Just keep everyone on track together for the next minute of jumping jacks.
All right. Perfect. Okay, next set of jumping jacks. Three, two, one, go. You just dance here if you want to, whatever. <laughs> Maybe Jonathan Harry has some good dance moves always. I see some sweaters coming off. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. And then we'll go back to all fours into our hip circles. Awesome. Once you're done, your reps there, back to your feet, and then we'll go into the next set of the Russian squats. Yeah. You don't have to move super fast through these. Feel that hamstring stretch. Do the glutes as you pull down to that squat. Awesome. And then five walkouts with a push up when you're done that. Let's see. Again, when you're done, just stand where you are so I know where we're at. Okay, are we ready for the last round of jumping jacks? Here we go. Three, two, one, go.
10 seconds here, guys. Three, two, one. Awesome job. Back on all fours into your hip circles. Try to remember that core here as well. Don't let yourself really reach that low back. Try and keep that spine nice and neutral. It's just your leg that's moving. Tim per side. When you're done that, back to your feet into 10 of your squats again, the bootstrap squats. And then when you're done that, five last inchworms with that push up. Great. A nice slow warm up for today. Perfect. Grab some water when you're finished. Does anyone not know what a couch stretch is? Raise your hand if you're not sure. Surely, you know what a couch stretch is. <laughs> so couch stretch, I'm gonna try to demo this. Imagine my knee's gonna be on the ground. Use this. And then my foot's gonna come up and I'm coming back. Whoop, come here, chair. <laughs> coming back and feeling through that hip flexor. This leg should be 90 degrees, but that is the intention there. You know what that is, right, Cheryl? <laughs> so you should feel that stretch through the hip flexor into the quad. If you don't have a space to do that, you have two options here. Option number one is just come down onto your knee. And then again, just push your hip forward. You can also add the arm stretch over to dig into that a little bit. Option two is you're, you can be on your side and then pull one heel, one heel into your bum. And just think, squeeze your rim like you're trying to push that hip forward, okay? So we'll spend a minute per side, which whatever variation you want to go on. To get yourself set up. Even this position, guys, feel like your ribs and belly button pull down together. Core engaged. Okay, timer started. Go. Minute per side. You guys all read Tom's email he sent out yesterday? Pretty exciting stuff. 
I'm very excited. What's the Coles Notes version of that? Uh, we have uh, procedures in place as the gym's going to be opening back up. So nine person classes, uh, reserving every time slot, lots of open gym time. What's Three, what's the date? Two. We don't know yet. No date. Oh, okay. Okay. So that that's that's just like just before the lockdown, the ten per class every hour. Yeah, some, something along those lines, and switch sides. We're not fully set on what our schedule is going to look like yet. Uh, more so like cleaning procedures. Everyone's going to have a box to work out in. It's all laid out that way. So basically like cubbies won't be in use anymore. You have a gym bag, you bring your gym bag to your square. It won't be, it'll just be open gym though, no wad until we get to that open place, right? Nope, there will be wads. Yep, oh. there'll be a group class. I don't get the emails. That's why I was asking for the Coles notes version. Three, two, one. Oh, check your junk mail. Sometimes they end up in there. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, sometimes the emails uh, get filtered to junk mail, so I always say check there as well. And Enzo, if you want it, you can, we can always send it to you. If you didn't get it, just let us know. Okay. Grab your dumbbell, kettlebell, barbell, whatever you're planning on using for this workout, and then bring it on over. Let's see what most of us have. I think most of us have like one, one piece of equipment. Natalie's got two. Okay, perfect. So let's warm up these snatch first. So either dumbbell, Vanessa, you're going to do barbell snatches. Perfect. Okay, anyone else doing barbell snatches? Okay, awesome. So for the snatch, we're just going to go through the pull first. So we're gonna go through our hinge. So we'll go through the hang position. So bar is gonna be bar dumbbell into the mid thigh position, reaching the hips behind you. Okay, everyone go to that position five times. Hinge and then stand. If you guys have been coming to Aaron's classes, he's been really great at doing a lot of barbell technique stuff, so should be not too foreign to you guys. Yeah, so Chris, put your dumbbell in front of you and put your hand in towards your thigh. Yeah, there you go, that's it, perfect. If you did this on one arm, do the same thing, five reps on the other arm. Just to make sure that's all firing properly. Okay, great. Now we're gonna add the pull into it. So I'm gonna go hip, shrug, elbow up to the sky. So again, keeping that dumbbell, kettlebell, barbell, nice and close, hip, shrug, elbow. So five, if you only have one dumbbell, they'll go five per side. Just the pull, keep it nice and close, hip, shrug, elbow. Make it nice and smooth here. Make the hips do the work. Oh, nice, Jackie. Okay. <clears throat> now we're gonna add that turn into it. So exact same thing, hip shrug, elbow. But now as my elbow comes up to the sky, I'm gonna quickly punch the ceiling. So to go, uh, make sure I don't hit the light. Hip shrug, elbow, punch. Okay. So down to that hang and then all the way up. The snatches will be from the ground, but we're just warming up through that middle, that middle piece. Okay, so five per side or five total if you have two pieces. Keep the barbell. Nice sock has a barbell. Great. Okay. Um, 
Again, you can switch in the air on these, on the ground, whatever your choice. If you do the hand transition in the air, I definitely do recommend following your gaze as it comes down. Kind of following it helps you time it when your hand has to switch off. Just keep that in mind. Perfect. Next is gonna be the thruster. So we're gonna go right arm first. If you have two dumbbells, both arms, you're gonna squat down and then punch that bar dumbbell up overhead. So we'll go five on the right and then five on the left. Barbell, just do five. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. So lots of options here, guys. Remember, it is uh, 12 total. You can break these up however you want to. Six per side. You can do one, then one, just 12 total. Break it up as much as you need to for that. And then last but not least, you're gonna do five burpees over your dumbbell. So these can be lateral, or I'm gonna go over this way. I can do facing my dumbbell. Uh, your, the choice is yours, whatever you have space for whatever you feel like doing. So five of those, ready, go. Good, yeah. Lateral is a little bit more taxing, but a little bit faster. Facing the dumbbell, you get a little bit more rest and recovery, but it's a little slower. So you can play around with that. Awesome. That is the three movements that we have to go through. Good. So I'm gonna explain again how this workout will work and then we'll get the screen sharing all set up. So you have three minutes to complete 12 alternating dumbbell snatches, five burpees over your dumbbell, 12, Dumbbell, thrusters, five more, burpees over your dumbbell. The remainder of that three minutes is your rest. So like I was saying earlier, this is kind of one of those workouts where you choose the pace that you wanna go. Obviously the faster you move your bodies, the more rest you're gonna get, but the more fatigued you're gonna get. If you choose to go a little bit slower, you might save your energy a bit, but it might, you will get more re less rest, sorry, less rest in that three minute interval. So it is a little bit of a game you have to play with yourself as well. Uh, it's five rounds. So it is a little bit longer with that five rounds. Uh, so keep that in mind. Maybe don't go full out 100% the first one. Use that one to kind of gauge how this is one's gonna feel and then build off of it for the, the remainder four sets. Any yeah. questions? Yes. Uh, yeah, how much time would one expect to have as rest in that three minutes? Like if we have to uh, juggle our numbers. Yeah, I would say about a minute. Yeah. Possibly, yeah, around there. Yeah, cool. Okay, let's see if I can share the screen. Doo -doo -doo. You guys see that? Yay! Look at me all tech savvy. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay. No. Da, da, da. Are we ready? Ready, ready, ready? All right. First set. Here we go. Oops. Let's do it again. Three, two, one, go.
In the thrusters, really think about that glute squeeze. Make that dumbbell fly off your shoulders. Save your arms as much as you can. You're at a minute and a half. Great job, guys. It's only five burpees. That's it, only five burpees. Leah, As you're you resting, the, try to control your breathing. Leah, if you hit the little box in the bottom right-hand corner of that timer, you'll get the full screen of the timer. That one? Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Boom. Look at that beautiful timer. All right. Looks like we're all done. Perfect. We're going to go in 15 seconds for round two. This one goes fast. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Nice, Sam. Beautiful. Nice, Chris. Natalie with the double snatch. <laughs> That's awesome. Good job. Looks like those weights are pretty light, hey? <laughs> Good. A tip for the uh, lateral burpees, try and stay as low as you can. You don't have to come all the way up, stay nice and low. Oh, Ryan's frozen. Or he's just holding an active thruster position. <laughs> so check in as you finish this round, if you need to adjust the reps to reduce it a little bit to give yourself more rest, for sure, go for it. We still got three more rounds of this to go. One more minute. Because we're doing awesome. Try to walk around in the break. Let that lactic acid flush out of the legs. Let the lungs recover. Twenty seconds. All right, round three, five, four, three, two, one, and go.
Hey, Cynthia. Easy. All day. Yeah, good. Try to focus on the position of those thrusters, hips going back and down. Good. Think about where you're looking. Gaze should be slightly up. Let's go, Vanessa, you got it. Look at that beautiful front rack, good job. Nice job dog, that looked faster than your first set. Great job. Everyone's feeling good. <laughs> I see a lot of the same positioning happening. It's great. A lot of hands on the knees after that last set of burpees. We're going to go in 25 seconds for round four. Over the hump now, guys. Three, two, one, go. Remember with those snatches, keep it nice and close to the body, straight up. One smooth motion. See if you can hold that intensity through these last two rounds. It's almost over. Maybe challenge yourself in this last round, see if you can make it the fastest one yet. 
Don't hold anything back. It's almost like an experiment with yourself to see what you're capable of. Thirty seconds. Like, what if you can push the burpees a little bit faster than you thought that you could? What's the worst that could happen? Three, two, one, last round guys, go for it. Nice, Alan, let yourself fall to the ground. There you go, yep. No need to control it. All right, let's go, Alan. Last round of thrusters. Nice, Leanne. So close, guys, so close. Woo! Final minute, we're all gonna finish under that last minute mark. Great job, Natalie, almost there. Nice. Jackie, you look so stoic clearing up the window like that. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, what a gorgeous day. Oh, beautiful. If you guys don't know, Jackie is uh, in Banff. Lovely, lovely day. Last 10 seconds. And done, that's a wrap. Great job. Whew. How's that guys? Scale of one to five. Give me a number, how you felt. Lots of fours, fives. One. Mario's a good old one, four. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If that was in the gym with a barbell, I don't think I could have done the three minutes. So that was my question to you guys. Do you guys feel like dumbbell thrusters or barbell thrusters are harder? Barbell. Barbell, yeah, it's interesting, hey? It's just a, a little bit of a different push with the dumbbell versus the barbell. And some people might feel the complete opposite. How about you, Leanne, dumbbell, what do you think? Dumbbell is so much harder. Yes, interesting, right? Well, also I got a kettlebell and the turning yeah. it, or yeah, I don't know. The kettlebell snatch I feel like is, is the most awkward. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah, kettlebell snatch. Dumbbell's hard though. Yeah. yeah. I think you need your brain more engaged on the, on the dumbbells than the bar. Yeah. 
So you like, need your core and et cetera together. And for sure. There's so much more leverage in front of your body, right? That you have to control. Yeah, yeah definitely. I find on the barbell, you can force it with your strong arm if you yeah. have to, as opposed to actually yeah. use both. And that's good because we need to work on that weakness too. So it's a good, a good variation. I keep saying like, we're going to all have such good shoulder stability when we get back into the gym from all the, the single arm dumbbell work that we've been doing. So it's really good. You, okay. Either way, you're doing 12 front squats. So it's just a matter of how strong your upper body is. Totally, totally. And how uh, strong your core is too, to support as you go overhead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you guys need a couple seconds before we get into the last piece? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Grab yourself some water, let yourself cool down a little bit. And then this last thing is not for time or anything. It's just more so cool down, more stability work. Um, so use that, take that as you need to. If you need more recovery, use it for sure. Okay, so while you guys are recovering, I'm gonna to start to talk about what we're doing next. So again, it's gonna be every three minutes for three sets. Again, this is not in any way supposed to be more conditioning, not supposed to be a sprint, just kind of gives you a good guideline of the rest interval. So the first piece is gonna be a minute overhead, either static hold, you can walk around for a minute, whatever. So whatever you got is gonna be held up overhead. So you want to feel like you're going to be in that proper shoulder position, not letting yourself shrug up towards your ears. Think shoulders pull down. Again, squeezing through that upper back. So you can hold one arm up, you can hold, or two arms up, you can hold one arm up, 30 seconds per side. If you have a plate, if you have a kid, whatever works here, just a one minute overhead static hold. The second position is going to be 10 per side renegade rows. Again, scale this if you need to. So if you have two dumbbells, what you're gonna do, I like to have my feet quite wide in this, gives me a good stable base. But think of yourself in a plank. So you don't wanna be here or way up here. Your body's in that plank position. Then all I'm gonna do is row my elbows up to the sky, just like a bent over row. So I'm keeping that uh, dumbbell nice and close as I come up. And then back then, it's not coming out away from me, tracking close to the body. So um, 10 per side there, you can do alternating, you can do all in one, then the other, totally fine. If you have one dumbbell, one hand's gonna be planted, the other one, you'll just do 10, and then switch, and then 10. So I feel like most of us only have one, one dumbbell. Cool. Any questions with how that goes? Yeah, Bri. Um, my lower back is really sore. Okay. So is, is there another technique that I can do that's kind of similar? Like even if it's like elevated or something? Or Just do a bent over row. Okay. Do you have like a bench or anything by you? Yeah. Yeah, so just do yeah. a regular bent over row. Okay. Yeah. And if it hurts, let me know. We can figure something else out. Okay. Cool. Anyone else? Need scales, modifications. Okay, cool. So let's use this timer again. How exciting. I'm so excited for this. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Are we ready? So we're going to start with the one minute static hold. In three, two, one, go. Leah, you'll have to show Aaron this. I will have to. He's going to be so excited, too. You'll have taught him something. <laughs> We're a guy okay. who thinks he knows it all. What eh? do you think Aaron learns everything? It's from me. Everything yeah, he knows. Yeah, he knows who's behind it all. I taught him everything he knows. You're halfway. If you haven't switched arms yet, switch. So just three rounds through this, guys. Oh. 
three, two, one, rest. So renegade rows, bend over rows if you need to. Just working through that upper back. Get those lats jacked. Someone not muted. Oh, Mr. Allen. Thank you. One minute. Brie, how's your back in those? Good, okay, awesome, perfect. Thirty seconds. Sarah's just ready. <laughs> She's ready to go. <laughs> okay, back to our holds in three, two, one, go. Feel like you're punching those arms towards the ceiling. Good. Elbows should be locked out. That's 30 seconds, switch arms. Nice, Matthew. Form looks awesome. 10. What's harder, a minute plank or a minute here? Three, two, one, done. Nice. Into your renegade rows, 10 per side. If you're in that plank position during these, make sure you feel your core. Don't lose that midline. We're gonna go through this one one last time. Thirty seconds. Okay. 
Here we go. Three, two, one. Last hold up overhead. That is halfway, switch arms. Good. Glute squeeze here, squeeze your bum. Ten seconds. Three. Two, one, done. Nice. Last set of renegade rows. Nice. Awesome. I think we're all pretty much good there, pretty much done. Okay, great job, guys. Anyone still working? Mario, are you still working over there? You're good? Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing this then. It needs some chalk. <laughs> Agreed, we have like baby hands, <laughs> just babies. <laughs> um, that's it for today, guys. So I would recommend maybe taking like the next 10 or so minutes to cool down, maybe go for a little walk around the block. Um, take care of those legs. So doing some more of the uh, couch stretch, the quad stretch, rolling them out, uh, maybe opening the shoulders up a little bit, child's pose, peck on a doorway, anything like that, just to get the body feeling good. 10 minutes, everyone. I hope to see you guys doing some cool down, active recovery before heading into tomorrow will help you uh, not be sore. So that's always a plus, a plus, especially after a pretty high intense workout like we did today. Any questions from anything that we did? No? Okay, perfect. Let's unmute and then we will wrap up. Another, another day in the books. You guys did great. Really, really great. Uh, enjoy your day. <laughs> Thanks, Leah. You're welcome. Who has, who has some good Thank plans you. going on later? Anyone? Work. Work? Aw. <laughs> Grateful for right. work. Grateful for work. Yeah, awesome. Well, Four see you soon. I don't see you. Pardon? Four hour Zoom call. <laughs> oh boy. Lots of coffee. It's at 6 p.m. <laughs> Lots of coffee. Awesome. If I don't see you guys before next week, I'll see you next Monday. Yep. Have a great day, guys. Let's end three, two, one. Three, two, one. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Three, two, one. Yes, there we go. That was so good. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Awesome job, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. Leah, my dog knows the three, two, one class now. Are you serious? Yep, she knows now it's treat time. Oh my gosh, like I'm done. My workout's yep. done. <laughs> as soon as she heard the clap, she's like all over me. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right, take care. You too. Thanks Bye, Shirley. Bye.